Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. It's a boy! I'm going to have another little grandbaby boy. I am so thrilled. If you watched my videos yesterday, we were going to go for the reveal and it was absolutely wonderful. I am so happy. He is due in April. And um, I am just happy to be a grandma again, and I'm happy to share my news with you guys. So um, with all of that being said, I just wanted to go along with some new product here that I've received uh, from the catalog. And I want to especially show you this ribbon. This is a Burla, and this is the on the farmhouse collection, okay? It has white and almost like a piece of either real red or cherry cobbler or um, some type of red going down the center of it. There's 10 yards on here, guys. This is enormous. This is absolutely enormous. And I know with the Farmhouse Christmas that this is like an essential um, for any kind of embellishment behind some products that we might uh, go ahead and craft up here in the craft room. So then I got some of the white with the silver edge, okay? <clears throat> this is a metallic edge ribbon. I got all three of the colors. This this is beautiful ribbon. The texture is soft. If you guys have ordered from me in the past, I always give ribbon away. Um, so uh, you have received some of this. I got it in the very vanilla with the gold and the white with the silver. These are two beautiful ribbons for Christmas. Um, and let's see, again, you get 10 yards of each. It's amazing how much you get. I had to get some Poppy Parade. That's my new color. Um, so, And this is a textured weave ribbon. And this is also beautiful. Again, 10 yards of it. Beautiful Poppy Parade. And it's, very, it's so soft and really like it wants to tie a bow, you know. So we're, you'll see me working with that. Oh, and here I told you I got all three of the um, metallic edge ribbon. This is a uh, berry burst, and that is gorgeous, even for Christmas. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful ribbon? So you've seen me use those. Um, I love that. And then this is also new in the holiday catalog. This is a braided linen trim. It's like our linen thread that I absolutely love making bows out of, but it's almost like they've weaved a lot of it together, almost braided it together, and this is flat. So look for me to use that, especially on our farmhouse. I, I love this and that burlap. Oh, that's going to be like one of my new things is that burlap. But today's video, really, I wanted to show you what I got that was new, okay? Um, but today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the Big Shot. Okay, right here is the Big Shot. You've seen me use it. It's $110, okay? Now, if you're thinking about buying something like this and putting this into your craft room, uh, uh, you've seen me use it, we emboss with it, we cut with it, and today I'm also going to show you how to use... Um, this platform right here, it is the Big Shot embossing mats. And this will turn any die that you have, any cuttable die, into an embossing uh, design. And I'm extremely excited about that because of the new snowflakes that I got. So we're going to try to do that today. Um, but here's the Big Shot, just like that. Now with it, you do get, it says right here, includes standard cutting pads and Big Shot Platform. Now, what does that mean? What that means is, we go over to page 121, and here is the Big Shot Platform. This is $26. So see, when you get the Big Shot, this is included, okay? Um, and here is what it is. It is a thin die adapter, okay? thin die adapter, and the Big Shot platform. Both of these came in my bag. I just opened this, okay? I'm switching over to the new stuff that's in the catalog because I realize even though my older stuff works, I can't teach you 
how to use this, like the big shot um, embossing mats, unless I have the proper tools of the big shot to show you guys how to use it. The only thing I don't have here is the precision base plate. I've seen some reviews on that and mm, I'm kind of mixed about that. I love the way my Big Shot cuts so I'm not going to order that. I am on my second die, die the Big Shot die brush. I used it so much that my bristles fell out. Um, so this is the Big Shot die brush. And this is what I use, you know, I roll it on um, certain intricate dies to pop out the centers of them. So there is that. But um, I actually wore one out. I really did. So, but that's good, right? We're crafting. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about the Big Shot. And uh, when I switch over here, we're going to switch back to my Big Shot. And we're going to start um, to see how these embossing mats work. I haven't used it yet. This will be the first time you guys and I are going to do it on camera in just a minute. I'll be back. Okay, I'm very excited about this. Um, to turn a die that cuts and that I've only cut with into something that embosses, especially as much as I like to emboss, um, I think that this is just going to be so much fun. So at the beginning of this little clip right here, I put the... Uh, sequence down the sandwich down that you need to emboss with now there is a way to emboss and cut also or cut and then emboss also but I don't have and I've looked through all my dies I don't have an intricate die to show that to you um, as soon as I order one I will get back on here and show you that step also with this um, but I'm very impressed with this and how much fun so we're going to start with the Big Shot platform. We've got our Big Shot. We're going to put the Big Shot platform down. I measured the Big Shot platform along with the magnetic platform, and they're the same thickness. So you could actually use um, your magnetic platform with this uh, if you had like a bunch of little dies or something that you wanted to emboss a piece of paper with. So then now from there, what we want is a cutting pad. And I did, I got new cutting pads. I'm so excited. Um, I Let me show you. I got brand new, where are they? They're brand new cutting pads. Anyway, um, I always have two sets of cutting pads. This set here I used just to emboss with. So now I'll bring that over and I'll cut with these. And then my brand new ones I'll use to emboss with. I never use the same pads to cut and emboss with because, let me show you, my cutting plates are five years old and this is what they look like. I do not want, they're loved, okay, and they're warped, but you can't, I can't break them. These guys are five years old. Um, I, so I got new ones and um, these are warped and everything, but they still work. Uh, I have to admit the new ones glide through so much easier and and do a great job of course but these are five years old I just wanted to show them to you but when I'm talking about embossing something I want something smooth I don't want things to be all scratched up like that okay so uh, let's just start from the beginning the big shot platform down first a cutting pad down next your die right here and your piece of paper. This is a piece of um, pool party. It's four by four. I'm going to take my die and put it on my paper, okay? Just like that. And then you want to place it on top of your cutting pad face up. Cutting face up, okay? The cutting part of the die face up. I did it this way so that it would be right where I wanted it to be on the paper, okay? Uh, so we have our die and our cardstock. Now we're going to use our thin blue um, rubber mat. And the way that I did this is I started from the back of the plate right here, right back here. Let me move this up so you can see right there. Okay. I started at the back of the plate and I just kind of put this down and then I just let it fall over top of my project. Okay. And then you're going to take the white impression pad that came in your kit. Now, all the directions are back here, okay? 
I just thought that it would be easy for you guys if I um, just wrote it out for you and you know this is your sandwich if you want to emboss with a cutting die I'm so excited okay so we're gonna roll this through and it's so it just glides honest to goodness it's a very very smooth very subtle it's um, it's never it's not hard pressure okay so let's take this apart oh look how pretty <clears throat> oh my goodness okay oh my goodness oh this came out beautiful look at that we embossed with this die guys <laughs> oh my gosh everything I have now can be embossed okay I see DSP made with the little snowflakes all over the place and embossing all of them that will be my next venture I wanted to do something big because I didn't know how it would turn out I am impressed I am so impressed with this guys I'm really loving this okay uh, the videos that I've seen do not do the embossing justice and this is so fantastic wow that is just okay I'm impressed I'm just impressed so here we can cut a snowflake like this isn't that beautiful isn't that so pretty that big snowflake isn't that so pretty okay or we can now emboss a snowflake I love that thanks for watching and thanks for being with me guys with my new news of being a grandma again and it is a little boy I'm so excited um, I would have been just as ex excited if it was a little girl uh, it was a lot of fun last night with my family and thanks again for being with me and please go to stampinginthevalley.com click on the big blue button order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products and happy crafting